Well, the St. Louis County NAACP has filed a lawsuit against a plan for a new grocery store in Crestwood. The organization argues that another Deerberg store is not needed in a well-served upscale area, while food deserts exist in many underserved communities. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins joining us live from the Central West End with more on this lawsuit filed. Kelly. Well, Jasmine, uh, this afternoon I talked with the president of the St. Louis County NAACP. Now, John Bowman says that this lawsuit is against the city of Crestwood and that TIF money they want to use for the Crestwood Deerbergs Plaza development. The St. Louis County NAACP sues the city of Crestwood, asking the court to declare a TIF void for the Crestwood Plaza Deerbergs development. The abuse of taxpayer dollars, right? So here we are looking at the use of a TIF in a, in a community that is already overserved, opposed to being used in a community where it's underserved. Last week, Deerbird's Market broke ground on the new 47 acre development called Deerbird's Crestwood Crossing. The groundbreaking ceremony held on the site of the demolished Crestwood Mall. Other businesses and 81 single family homes are part of the development. The lawsuit is filed against the city of Crestwood and not Deerbird's Markets. The NAACP complains that the grocer wants 17 million in tax increments, but no public hearings were held to allow the NAACP to object to the use of TIF funds. If you look at where these TIFs are located, they're always in white communities that are uh, financially well, where they have commerce and they have fundings, opposed to investing in a community which TIF was really des designed to be used in, underserved communities like black communities. Deerbirds just chooses not to locate its stores in minority communities. Since the TIF Act passed in 1982, food deserts has grown in St. Louis County. The USDA calls Ferguson and Spanish Lake food deserts, and food deserts exist mainly in low-income, non-white communities. Crestwood is 93% white and less than 2% black, according to census data. Crestwood has multiple grocery stores. The city of Crestwood released a statement about the lawsuit and it reads in part, we are concerned that the NAACP is engaging in a political motivated stunt to try and halt the much needed redevelopment of the former Crestwood Mall site. The lawsuit is completely frivolous. We are civil rights and citizen focused on issues. I, there's no gain for us, we're a volunteer organization. Now, for more information on the lawsuit and to see the complete statement from the city of Crestwood, you can download our news app. Reporting live from the Central West End, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.